Bungie said that they want Marathon to be the ultimate live service game. Some new information just leaked about Marathon, and this information is coming from Tom Henderson, who was the original person who leaked out that Marathon was going to be revived by Bungie as an extraction shooter. So I'm thinking this information is rather legit. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It's the best way to help out the video and channel. If you're part of that 59% who are not subscribed to the channel and you want to keep up to date with everything going on with gaming, well, you know what to do then. It seems like teams of three are going to be kind of like the main way to play the game. It does say here that you will be able to match up in the games as a solo or in a duo group, but you will be coming across teams with bigger team sizes. Though it does seem like you will have the opportunity to extract without your team. It'll be interesting if they see if they grab the social aspect from DMZ into this team mechanic. If you guys don't know, in DMZ, you start off with a team of three, but you can invite another three players into your team to have a squad of six. Personally, I really enjoy it because it adds the random cooperative aspects to the game, which I think is going to be kind of a fun bit where you guys some, have some PvP, but you also come across players who are friendly. One thing that Bungie stated that was very important that made me question about how they're going to make this game work out is that with like a battle royale or with an extraction shooter, you have some element of like a gas or something that kind of closes the map a little bit to press the issue. But Bungie stated that you'll be jumping into a persistent world. So there's not going to be like a beginning or an end of like the server happening. It's just exactly exists. So what's going to stop players from just staying in the server all the time and just looting up everything? The oxygen system that's going to be coming with this game. Think of the oxygen system as effectively a personal timer on the map. Once you run out of oxygen, you start taking damage to your health and then you eventually die. Though it looks like you will have the ability to find oxygen canisters throughout the world, probably buy them as well through some form of currency. So you can extend your personal timer, which is going to be really interesting. Well, that sounds like an all right system. You're going to use a persistent world. What's going to be putting the pressure on the player is that oxygen limit, that time limit that you have. But then the thing is that how do you guys create action within the game? Because a lot of times with, say, like when I'm playing DMZ, the smoke comes in, it closes the map, presses that issue. So you have more gunfights and kind of create some hectic moments. When you don't have that match wide presence of trying to push the action, then what's going to keep players excited to play the game? Because if you don't have enough players on the map, it's going to be kind of barren and boring. You have too many players and it's going to be basically playing like an obscure, crazy version of Deathmatch. It's going to be a very fine balance to see what Bungie does with this. There are other ways you can modify the oxygen timer, which is actually by damaging players in specific ways. In this article, they bring up the example of saying if you're being shot in a waste area, you may take some damage, which will hurt your oxygen supply which will cause it to deplete faster. Another example is being concussed, and so then your player's screen will blur periodically because you're just really dizzy and out of it. So that adds a really interesting survivability aspect to the mode, which I think is really cool. Now it looks like there will be an ability and a perk system. You'll be able to select perks like revive faster, less oxygen usage, move faster in water, it seems to be the examples that were brought up. But also your ability will be more of a game changing, more powerful element with the game. They brought up the example of night vision to spot out enemy outlines. So when I hear this, I think of like very tactical super abilities, kind of like a super that you would have in Destiny or like an ultimate that you would have in Apex Legends. And apparently Bungie is aiming Marathon to be the ultimate live service. One aspect they're looking to do it in is with load time, saying having single digit load times from ready up to playing in the server. So then you're not really thinking about trying to get into a game, you're just constantly playing. Saying that there will be a lot of replayability as Marathon's maps, emphasis on the plural of that one as well, will have plenty of secrets for players to explore, Presumably, new secrets will come out to the maps throughout the game's seasons. But the gameplay loop of Marathon is looking to be the first, you choose your missions to complete within the game. Then you go into the buy phase where you can like choose your loadouts, your perks, abilities, and gear, and things like that. Then you drop into the server, hunt for loot, complete missions, explore and find secrets, extract. Then you spend that XP that you earned on updates to your character. Rinse and repeat. The game features three different types of items, loot, implants, and perks. In the current game, permadeath is a feature, but it's understood that players will only lose their loot, as in weapons, artifacts, and currency, whereas implants are sometimes lost and perks are never lost. And apparently Bungie is developing three maps for Marathon, but no word if they're gonna be there at launch. Most likely this is probably the plan for at least year one, if not the first two years of the live service of Marathon, because creating a large scale map in a persistent world for people to jump into 
takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and Bungie knows people are going to be playing this game when it comes out. And from what we've seen from a lot of live service games, if your first year isn't a banger, well, then people will move on to something else. Why do you think X Defiant is coming out with just an insane amount of maps and weapons when it comes to their first season? Because they really need to do better than what the current status quo is from all the heavy hitters because they need to be like, look how much more content you're getting with our game. It's obvious you need to jump in and play it. It seems like Bungie might be doing a similar type of thing with Marathon. If you want to know more about everything that we know of so far, especially about the ARG that's going on with Marathon, well, check out this video right here. Thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.